Hey there, tech enthusiasts! Are you ready to bring Laravel to life on your Windows machine? In this video, I'll walk you through how to install Laravel step by step so you can kickstart your next web development project. Whether you're a beginner or just looking for a quick guide, I've got you covered! Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and drop your questions in the comments. Let's dive in! <laughs> To install Laravel on Windows, first ensure you have PHP installed. I recommend using WAMP Server, which includes PHP and MayISQL. Next, download and install Composer, Laravel's dependency manager. Finally, install Visual Studio Code as your code editor. Check out the tutorial links for each step in the description below. Let's get started. Open Command Prompt. Run the following command to install Laravel's installer globally. Composer Global. Require Laravel Installer. Once Laravel is installed, you're ready to create a new Laravel project. First, create a new folder for your project. Then, go to that folder, and to quickly open the folder path in the command prompt, just type cmd in the folder's address bar, and press enter. Now, to create your Laravel project, simply run the following command. When creating a new Laravel project, Laravel offers the option to install a starter kit for authentication and other features. Here are the options you might see. No starter kit. This is the default option if you don't want any predefined authentication or scaffolding. Laravel will generate a clean project without any starter kit installed. Breeze. This is a minimal, simple starter kit that includes basic authentication features like login, registration, and password reset. It's a good choice if you want a lightweight authentication system to get started quickly. Jetstream. Jetstream is a more robust starter kit, which includes features like two-factor authentication, session management, and API support via Laravel Sanctum. It is more advanced than Breeze and is suited for more complex applications. You'll be asked which testing framework you'd prefer to use. Here's a brief explanation of each option. Choose PEST if you prefer a cleaner, more expressive syntax and are okay with an extra layer on top of PHPUnit. Choose PHPUnit if you want the default established testing framework with no extra dependencies. PEST is a great option for Laravel projects, but if you're familiar with PHPUnit or need its more advanced features, you can stick with that. Laravel will also prompt you to choose a database for your application during the setup or later configuration. Here's how you can approach it. MySQL. Most popular choice for Laravel projects, and great for small to large-scale applications. PostgreSQL. Powerful and feature-rich relational database and good for complex applications, requiring advanced data types and functionalities. SClite. Lightweight, file-based database, and perfect for small applications, prototyping, or testing environments. SQL Server, a robust option for applications already integrated with Microsoft technologies. MariaDB is another excellent choice for your Laravel application. It's a community-driven fork of MySQL and is fully compatible with Laravel. 
Select your database preference, for example, MySQL, PostgreSQL, or SQLite. Congratulations, your Laravel project has been successfully created. Open the project in Visual Studio Code by navigating to your project folder in the terminal, then use the command code to launch it. Once Visual Studio Code is open, start the Laravel development server by running PHP Artisan Serve in the integrated terminal. Your application is now ready and you can access it in your browser at http slash 127 0 0 0.1 8000. That's it. Your Laravel project is now set up and running smoothly. You can start building your application and exploring its powerful features. If this tutorial helped, make sure to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe for more helpful videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one and see you.